Y'all, it makes more than a little bit of sense why Fatima was so angry about Zach giving Karen money for the salon. I already told her I was gonna help her with her shop. I'm sorry, you did what? Look, I'm a- What's good, y'all? It's your good sis, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what exactly was the most frustrating part about Zach offering up money to help Karen rebuild her salon. Because at first I didn't get it, but now with our new information, I definitely get it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations, okay? And if you're not new here, welcome back, boo. You know how we do. And without further ado, let's talk about it. Because I ain't gonna hold y'all. I was definitely in a comment section fighting for my life when all of y'all was like, Zach don't need to give Karen shh. Zach don't owe Karen shh. Why Zach gotta give her money? Why Zach gotta do this? Why Zach gotta do that? Before we get into this video, I have to give you the disclaimer that this piece of content was created during the SAG after 2023 strikes. And unfortunately, we have reached a climax in which the AMPTP has walked away from the negotiating tables, so it's very strenuous times. This piece of content is created as an act of journalism to critique the film or television series mentioned, not in support of the AMPTP or any other struck companies. However, standing alongside the amazing performers and creatives who have brought this piece of work to life. My company will continue to refuse any paid work from any struck companies as an act of solidarity. Recently, sag After has updated the public as well as their members with a notice posted on their Instagram, which you can read in full, but I will, I will read in part before we jump back into this video. They say, it is with profound disappointment that we report the industry CEOs have walked away from the bargaining table after refusing to counter our, our latest offer. We have negotiated with them in good faith, despite the fact that last week they presented an offer that was shockingly worth less than they proposed before the strike began. They, perf they refuse to protect performers from being replaced by AI. They refuse to increase your wages, as in the actor's wages, to keep up with inflation. And they refuse to share a tiny portion of the immense revenue the actor's works generate for them. The sag after have made big and meaningful counters on their end, including completely transforming their originally proposed revenue share proposal, which would cost the companies less than 57 cents per subscriber each year. Streaming continues to be a huge sticking point, particularly that the streamers are keeping most of the revenue and not actually passing on profitability to the creatives and the performers in the actual work. If you want more details on what is actually happening, I have links in the description box down below. And you can also follow my journey as I go out to the picket lines and I post on my Instagram at ericavane.com as I continue to stand in solidarity. Now let's get back to the video. I was just like, why not? And he, and if this is what he want to do, let him do it. He fighting demons that don't have nothing to do with Karen and don't have nothing to do with y'all, quite frankly. Why y'all why y'all pocket watching him? Why you worry about what he wants to do for Karen? And I was looking at Fatima like, girl, your lifestyle ain't changing. It ain't coming out of your pocket. So why the hell you pocket watching him, honey? You didn't got your brand new car. You didn't got this duplex that he seemed to think is better than your apartment. But I like your apartment better. Your condo better. You actually had two bedrooms. Maybe three. I don't know. But we knew that you had more than one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was really stuck with like, I get it because Karen's the ex. Karen is the ex that actually could be competition in a sense because Zach still has very deep feelings for her and you know Karen is causing complications so I get that part of it but I just could not understand how not necessarily for Tima because she didn't make a big deal of it on the show but you could tell that she was very frustrated and uncomfortable it was more so you damn fans all right it was more so y'all in my comment section in my dms in my damn emails trying to convince me why Zach shouldn't be doing this and why this is so damn wrong and it's just like it's actually not that damn bad but now after finishing season two of Zatima which you guys can watch if you haven't already streaming on BET plus I get it she was pissed that Zach is offering up money because not too damn long ago she was about to have to go into her damn savings when Zach's money was frozen and or or uh, uh removed 
behind some bullshit that Bryce decided to do with Gary's ass or behind some damn building that Zach didn't want any damn way. Fatima did not hesitate with the money. She didn't hesitate to be like, you're going to be fine. Whatever you need, I got you. Because she got money tucked away. That changes things. You ain't going to go and give up all your goddamn money to your ex that you could or could not possibly still be in love with and or deeply love and then think I'm going to reach into my coffers and pull out my ducats to maintain our lifestyle and the lady can't stop calling me a bitch and she's supposed to be carrying your baby and I'm carrying your baby it's an absolute hell to the no 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 so I get it now y'all I would be mad too but I will go ahead and say Remind y'all that in every last one of the videos that I made commentary about this, I did say as long as Zach offering up money to Karen did not disturb her lifestyle, did not force her to pay for things that she weren't wasn't currently paying for. If Zach was still able to maintain their cars, their house, their lights, the groceries, because Zach pays for pretty much everything as we are allowed to assume that hasn't been outright said, but we're allowed to assume just by how they show us their lifestyle. I'm like, if Zach is still doing all of those things and you are not missing or lacking in anything financially, then why in the hell can't he do this with his money? But the problem is she, she was about to have to go into her money to fix some bullshit between him and his homie, his business partner, his, <laughs> I was about to say crush, but that's so messy. <laughs> because Bryce crushing on him. Zach is definitely not crushing on Bryce. So yeah, y'all, that is why I think Fatima was so frustrated with Zach and this whole wanted to, wanted to help Karen rebuild the salon and offering up finances to do so because it did start to impact her financially, which makes 110% sense. I feel you on that, Fatima. But they were also able to clear it up Bryce did what he did on the show on Zatima, got his father to step in and make an adjustment so Zach was not able, did not lose his money. So now we we cool. If Zach decides to give Karen another check after she done ripped up the damn first one, Karen, I'm going to need you to chill, mama. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to still say Fatima, girl, let it ride. Until it starts hurting you financially, let it ride. Because whether y'all agree with it or not, I completely understand the demons that Zach is fighting. I completely understand the wrongs that he is trying to right, specifically with Karen. And for men, a lot of times, righting wrongs has to do with providing money. They think that if they supply things monetarily, that will do, you know, a world of good to make up for transgressions or for things that have gone down. And you can't really fault him for that because it's how his brain works. And not to mention, money was one of the biggest things that was, you know, causing a strain within their relationship. Something that could have aided in them actually breaking up. So for him, wanting to change the story, change the narrative, and maybe he can't go back in time and rewrite their story, but he can change how it actually ends in that I pay her back and I gave her more. And if that's what he want to do, then let him do that. Sometimes we got to go above and beyond to make peace with ourselves for some of the, the, the ways that we showed up in the past with people that we loved. We can't fault him for that, and I ain't going to fault him for that. And she could say she let us talk TV with. Let me know what you think about this theory on why Fatima was so mad. If you just know that she was so mad because that's her man and he shouldn't be giving no money to no other woman, this might not be the conversation for you. Sit this one out. I already heard your points. You done put them on all the videos. People who got a little bit more nuance, a little bit more complex takes, who got a little extra seasoning to add to the conversation, you come into the comment section and let us keep this going. Okay? I appreciate you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And this is your first time hearing me because there's so much more to come. And I'm going to see you in the next one.